See how you're going sideways? Wow. Good. A little more rudder, a little more aileron. Good. That'll move you sideways. Okay. Good. Back to the right. Okay, careful. Your nose is that way. So, good. That's it right there. Your nose is perfectly wow. down the runway. I'm Jason Miller, a full-time professional flight instructor. On the Finer Points channel, you can join me as I bring you tips and tricks that I've learned from 20 years on the flight line. Welcome back to the Finer Points. So in the last video, Mastering Crosswind Landings Part 1, you saw Rob and I working in a pretty extreme crosswind, right? Like right up to the max demonstrated for the airplane. But those aren't the ones, in my opinion, that really get most pilots. I mean, let's face it. If you have a really, really strong crosswind, you know where it's coming from. You know the intensity. It's, you know, and if it's not super gusty, it's pretty easy to kind of figure out how much rudder and aileron are required to hold the center line. It's the subtle crosswinds that get people, death by a thousand cuts. You think you're lined up, you get into the flare, and before you know it, the nose of the airplane pivots into the wind, you slowly drift downwind, and you land with that side loading, that dreaded side loading, right? And that's the part that feels really weird. So check it out, Austin and I recently had a flight over to Oakland, uh, back up in the Bay Area, where we could use a long runway to practice this exercise I'm gonna show you in this video, which is how to deal with subtle crosswinds when you don't have that huge wind you saw in the last video. Check it out. So you can do this exercise whether or not there's any wind at all and learn how to side slip. I like to go to a long runway, something like Oakland International. Here you can see we've got 2.8 left and 2.8 right. Uh, both are more than 5,000 feet long and 150 feet wide. We're gonna line up here with one side of the runway, the left or the right, and fly the length of the runway, keeping the nose straight down the runway with the longitudinal axis aligned with the center line using the rudders and just using the ailerons to drift back and forth across the width of the runway. In this way, students can practice managing precision lateral control whether or not they have any wind at all. Do this with a CFI, and if you are a CFI, you should know that I do it with 20 degrees of flaps and I often manage the power for the students. You don't want to get low and slow 50 feet off the ground. Well, the wind is from the left. I can tell because the nose is pointed left and you're uh, drifting right. So I need to crab this way. So, yeah, um, you're crabbing perfect. You're pointed over there. Yep. Good, and you're traveling a straight line over the ground. Okay. Good. Keep flying 65. Just don't flare early. You got plenty of runway here. You have 5,000 feet of runway. Nothing to worry about. Yep. Good. Just keep it coming in. Try to figure out what our aiming point is. Looks to me like the, not the 1,000 foot markers, but those two beyond it. Yep. Yeah, good. So keep aiming right toward those. Keep your nose down. Okay. Good. When the runway stripe in front of them starts to disappear, not yet, not yet, right around now, slowly flare. Good. Now wait for it. Every time it's six, pull, 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 pull. And you see what's happening there? The center line starts here, and through the flare, it moves left and ends up over here. This crosswind is subtle, but it's there. So try this. When you're working on crosswind landings, consider the crosswind takeoff, right? It's everything in reverse. When you're landing, you want to touch down in a little slip with your upwind wing down just a little bit. And as the airplane decelerates, you want to slowly roll all the ailerons in. Well, the takeoff is just the opposite. As you go down the runway, you slowly roll the aileron out. You use the rudder to stay aligned with the runway and you lift off with the airplane in a slight bank with the upwind wing down. So watch Austin's takeoff here and memorize the attitude. This is what it should look like on the next landing. Three zero number over to uh, South Bonner. Okay, land on the right side. That's okay. High Just a little left four, aileron, four, right rudder. Three, so let me show you this. Left zero, aileron, squad, right five, rudder three, four, will cause the airplane uh, to come back toward the center. Three, zero, two, two, See how four, I'm coming five, back toward three, the center? Four, six, five, five, Okay, so no surprise, the next pass was pretty much the same. We ended up downwind with the nose pointed into the wind. So I realized it's time to work on side slips. Left aileron, right rudder. So let me show you this. Left aileron, right rudder will cause the airplane to come back toward the center. So that's how you fix this. 
Let's back up and watch that one more time. Left aileron, right rudder. So let me show you this. Left aileron, right rudder will cause the airplane to come back toward the center. When you're trying to side slip, don't use too much rudder. Everybody uses too much rudder. It's just enough rudder to prevent the nose of the airplane from coming through the turn. So look down the runway, bank in the direction you want the airplane to move, and use just enough rudder to prevent the nose from coming with the turn just enough to keep the nose lined up with the runway and bam the airplane moves sideways 50 feet up you want to move left so it's left aileron like this left aileron and a little right rudder that will uh, move you left and then wow. stop it right and then you're back toward the center all right flaps up flaps up full power full power keep that wing down Okay, so for more on this topic, there's an entire video dedicated to this back in the VFR lesson playlist on the Finer Points YouTube channel where I'm flying with Paul. It's another take on this very same concept. Okay, so the next pass is the pass where we do the drift exercises, which I showed you up front. But before we get to that, I just wanna clear up any confusion about the difference between a forward slip and a side slip. It simply has to do with the airplane's path over the ground, okay? In a forward slip, the aircraft is moving forward. In a side slip, it's moving forward and sideways, okay? So you might get confused because it's on some level the same thing, right? Aileron in one direction, rudder in the other direction. The difference is in a forward slip, you're going to put the rudder all the way to the floor as far as you can and use aileron to keep the airplane moving in a forward flight path okay so that's the forward part of the slip in a side slip it's you know this is semantics it's just more subtle you use the ailerons to point the wings in the direction you want the airplane to go and use rudder just to keep the nose lined up with the runway right just enough rudder to prevent the nose from coming with the turn and the aircraft moves forward and sideways all right, forward slips, side slips. All right, let's check out this drift exercise. More rudder and less aileron. So a forward slip is like this, like as much rudder as I can manage, but using ailerons to fly wow. in a straight line, right? And it gets wow. me a big rate of descent. Jeez. Whereas a side slip is super subtle. Right. So here's where we're gonna do side slips together. This is gonna be a low approach, and then I'll okay. give it back to you. We're gonna intentionally line up with the wrong side of the runway. Yep. All right, come on the flight controls. I'm gonna, yeah, I'm going to do power, though, because it's right. kind of a lot to manage. In a side slip, you want to point the ailerons the way you want the airplane to go and just stop the nose from coming. Wow. See how we go sideways? Yeah. Yep. Notice I'm not doing some extreme angle. I'm just using rudder to keep the nose down the runway. Right. Back in the other direction, point the ailerons the way you want to go and just use rudder as necessary to keep the nose pointed down the runway. Okay, you got all the controls except power. Okay. So point the airplane. Don't pitch up. Point... Don't pitch up. Point uh, the airplane the way you want to go. Just use enough rudder, a little more rudder. See how you're going sideways? Wow. Good. A little more rudder, a little more aileron. Good. That'll move you sideways. Okay. Good. Back to the right. Okay, careful. Your nose is that way. So good. That's it right there. Your nose is perfectly wow. down the runway. Boom. Just like that, Austin has side slips and is starting to develop precision lateral control. I mean, he's really doing great for his level of experience. And I want to thank him for letting me publish his flight training to the internet. All right, if you want to see a full version of this lesson, pretty much unedited, an hour of Austin and I flying around the pattern at Oakland, it is available to patrons. So come check out patreon.com slash learn TFP. A huge thanks to the sponsors and to the patrons for their support of this channel. Come find me online. I'm at Learn the Finer Points on Instagram. We've got adventure flying trips. We'd love to see you join this summer. Some awesome trips with amazing instructors. We do life raft deployments, teach survival skills. We go out in the wild and put our skills to the test. So we'd love to see you on board one of those. You can find out more information at learnthefinerpoints.com. You guys are the best fans on the internet. Thanks for watching this video. I'm Jason Miller, and until next time, be safe and fly your best.